Everyone says that a library is a student's best friend when it comes to finding resources. This is true. If possible, you should be able to use the school library or even a public library. There are all kinds of libraries out there, each unique and each one with a mission of helping you find your resources that you need. There is one resource that many students fail to take advantage of, especially when they need it the most, and that's the school library website. I don't blame you for not using this gem of a resource to its fullest extent. There are specific lessons taught about how to do so. I had to take a class at a community college to figure out the hidden goodies inside this electronic cookie jar, but there are many ways to go about this. Hopefully this will inform you as we go over how to use the library website to its fullest extent. Disclaimer, uh, just a quick disclaimer, not all school libraries have the same resources, but the same general tricks and prods do still apply. Most state-funded schools in America will have the same or similar resources that you can use to figure these things out. All right, let's get started. First off, let's go over the basics. Most people know how to use a search bar on a website, and this is about the simplest thing you can do. Nothing against search bars, I use them all the time. I, this can be especially useful when trying to figure out a book or an article or something within the physical library. You can look up the title of a book or an article and find the location of the book, usually in the form of an ID number. Here's a screenshot of a search I had made for Great Expectations on my school library page. Here, I looked up the physical copy of the book, and below all the book information is the info on which section the book is located, which shelf it's on, and which location on the shelf. You can also look up where to get free internet copies of a book or an article. For example, here is my web search for the ebook version of Great Expectations, and here's the screenshot of the web page I was led to when I clicked the link below. If the library doesn't have the title you're looking for, you can always request an interlibrary loan, but for most students starting off in college, you don't really need to worry about that. Now, most people know the basics of doing a library search, but you can also refine the search, usually looking to the sidebar on the left or the right of the library webpage and choosing what kinds of things you're looking for based on what format you want, topics of the title, looking for journals, articles, books, films, and so on. This can be especially good for narrowing down your searches as well. One final note on the search bar, if you're using the search bar on a school or academic web page, it's not uncommon to see a link that says advanced search or something of the like. This tool is incredibly useful. Advanced search can give you more options for searching for resources if you know how to use it right. If you click on the advanced search link, you'll notice that the search bar will change slightly. You'll see more search headings below uh, the main search bar. These will allow you to get more specific about what you're looking for. You can choose whether you want to find something by title, author, topic, or any of the other ways they offer. Pay attention to the and, or, and not commands. They are endemic in advanced searches. The command and tells the search engine to look for documents with two different things. For instance, in my search on the screen now, I told the search engine to look for documents with Great Expectations and Charles Dickens. The OR command works the same way, but it will look for articles that may have one thing but not the other. For example, in the screenshot now, I could get articles that have the words Great Expectations and Oliver Twist, but one article has one keyword but not the other. This has only Great Expectations, and this has Oliver Twist, and this one has both. This command can help broaden the scope of a search after you've reached a dead end. Now, the not command is very different from the other two in that it excludes certain topics from being searched. For example, for my not search, I typed in a Christmas carol, so I will get articles that have Great Expectations, Charles Dickens, or Oliver Twist, but I won't get any articles related to a Christmas carol. It's simple as pie. Anyways, let's get on to databases. This is where you go when the library doesn't have what you need on hand. There is usually at least one link to the databases that the school has access to. Because the school pays an insane amount of money so that you don't have to pay these institutions to use them. 
you just pay an insane amount of money to school on tuition instead. Uh, thanks, school. Yeah, it's great. For my school, the link is right here. And here. And lastly, here. The library database will lead you to a variety of different sites that can be helpful to pretty much anyone. This is especially helpful for finding databases on specific disciplines. For instance, if you're a science major, you can find databases that can help you find hard to get scientific papers or journals. If you're a musician, you can find databases that allow you to find free sheet music or tutorials. One word of warning, if you do use these databases, make sure you are signed in to the school library or look for links that allow you to do so because if you don't, it'll make your life a lot harder. Like I said before, the resources your school has access to vary from college to college, and that includes databases, so you'll have to do some exploring of your own. One common database that a lot of schools use, and I use all the time in my own school searches, is Academic Search Complete. It's otherwise known as EBSCO. It has pretty much everything from journal articles to newspapers. When you're trying to find a source and you can't find it through a library search, EBSCO is a good second base to stop at. I have yet to visit a school that doesn't use Academic Search Complete. But you can also look up certain databases based on your discipline of study. If you're in the STEM field, I would recommend using SciFinder or ScienceDirect if your school offers it. In addition to your search options and the wide array of databases available to your college or high school, you can pretty much find anything else you are looking for on the college website. Can't find an obscure club you're interested in? Probably a link on the library webpage. Need help getting tutoring? The library probably has a link for that. The library webpage is a hub of information, and if you can't find what you're looking for, they usually have a link that, they, that can help you out. They have information on scholarships, tutoring, financial help, building hours, technologies available, so on and so on. You can almost always find something that will help you. And, of course, the library will include contact info in case you need to contact them directly for help and you can't find it on their website. Well, that's all I have for now. I hope this has been helpful to you, and we'll be back soon.